Everyone's in attendance. Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports proudly presents your main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing for the vacant International Women's Boxing Federation Lightweight Championship of the World. Representing the IWBF at ringside is Frankie G. This title bout is sanctioned by the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation, Division of Commercial Licensing, Racing and Athletics. Michael Marcus, Director. Jeffrey Greer, Associate Director. William DeLuca, Licensing exa Examiner. Ringside physicians are Dr. William Chang and Dr. Robert Sidman. And your timekeeper for this bout is Polly Goodwin. Your three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system are Eddie Sconzio, Steve Epstein, and Dr. Clark Sammartino. And your referee in charge of the action once the bell rings is Charlie Dwyer. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the red trunks and gold, she weighs in at 135 pounds. Professional record, 16 wins, four defeats, one draw, with seven big wins coming by way of knockout. She hails from nearby Narragansett, Rhode Island, and is a former two-time world champion. Please welcome Jamie the Hurricane Clampin. Her opponent fighting out of the blue corner. She's wearing pink trunks and weighs in at even 135 pounds. Her professional record, 43 victories, only seven defeats, two draws, with 18 big wins coming by way of knockout. She hails from Oxnard, California. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Mia, the Knockout St. John. 10 rounds for the IBF, IWBF Lightweight Championship. Ladies, you both know the rules. Fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. And unified rules of boxing apply. You see them here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Reminder, of course, these are two-minute rounds, women's boxing. Ten two-minute rounds as we look at tail of the tape. Huge age gap there. Mia St. John has fought in prominent places all over the world. Jamie Clampett's come up the hard way in fighting an oblivion. This is her moment to shine and Mia's moment to hang on. She's in the blue and pink, Mia St. John. And Vinny, right off the bat, it's apparent, well, you've seen Jamie Clampett repeatedly in terms of what she has to do is box and box some more, huh? Oh, man, I'm excited about this <laughs> fight. I'm starting to get juiced up now. <laughs> This what do you mean cool. start? I, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting <laughs> going here. I'm looking at these two beautiful women. They're going to go at it. This is going to turn into a slugfest, what I think. You do? I, I think it's going to end up a slugfest. And and Jamie's outfit's hot. Usually the person with the better outfit wins is the fight. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, already Jamie digging effective jabs in. A little crossover defense from Mia. Her left hand is low, trying to maybe lure Clampett in. But Clampett moving left and really... Trying to control and really short slipping on the uh, canvas there. Well, Kurt Rita, the new trainer of Jamie Clampett, told me that he's going to have Jamie boxing and moving in and out on her legs. Nice movement. And you know what? She looks good. She's doing it. Well, as you said in your predictions, why not? And, and force uh, St. John to work her legs. While they may look good, they're 39-year-old legs as opposed to 29-year-old legs. Exactly. We'll see. We'll see, you know, how young she is for 39. Jamie Clampett, natural athlete. He is focused, motivated, and hungry for this. But no doubt, facing somebody with the name of Mia St. John has got to be, not cause her to rattle, but maybe cause her to start a little slower and show her a lot of respect. You know, both girls, uh, they're good women. They're, they're, they're real, they have great personalities, and they're tough as nails. They really are. And they have a lot of respect for each other but each one really believes that they can beat the other the other fighter. So those two minutes just flew by here as we complete one of a scheduled 10 round title fight. Check it out. This is 
it. I, I want you to concentrate on speed because you have that speed, okay? Now. Mia St. John has heard it several times before and again. She's fought at the major venues, Madison Square Garden. We've seen her on undercards, uh, major title fights at the uh, huge uh, arenas and casinos in Las Vegas. And Jamie Clampett, by contrast, fought in oblivion almost as a Canadian lightweight national cha amateur champion. Moved to Providence in 2002. Stepped up her training. Her commitment, of course, has been there all along, but she hasn't been in the spotlight like Mia St. John. So there's a lot to prove, Vinny, in terms of Mia's got the name, but I got perhaps the ability and I got the future. Well, you know, if you look at the records, Mia has 50 professional fights. That's a lot of fights. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and uh, Jamie has 21 pro fights. Both are very knowledgeable in the ring. One, Jamie's training all the time. Mia is always in shape. She runs marathons. That means, like, both of these women are durable, and it's not going to be easy to knock out either one because of the conditioning that their body's in. We got a little criticism already for uh, uh, Mia with that crossover defense. Her right hand just isn't in a, pos in a position to, to land effectively off her jab. But now she's uh, changed style a little bit, so she's trying to perhaps show... Jamie Clamp at different looks, but I just don't like where her glove is at that point. Nope, but you know what? She's had 50 fights. She's won 43 of them, so something's effective yeah, yeah, for her. No, no doubt. Probably her defining fight on the losing end was the loss. She really got schooled, but had her moments against Christy Martin. I think age is going to be a, a bit of a factor here. Because so how do you make Mia St. John work then more? You don't. Mia's going to do what she does, and, and she does it effectively, and that's counterpunch. But Jamie looks real strong, and I she think did. that's going to overpower Mia. And I, I just don't think the age gap is going to work for her benefit. It's just, it can't. Jamie looks very controlled. A little crossover of her own now, trying to walk in without punching. Probing, probing. Now fainting and giving Mia some looks, smiling at her. Maybe a little bit of taunting, and she's really got a head of steam up there offensively as she connects with overhand rights. So Jamie Clampett with a load of confidence offensively as she is beginning to dial in and make things work. Big punches, big punches, and landed some of them. Oh, I like it. I like when Jamie throws for the, I like when a fighter th go, throws for the fences, throws from the from like another state. I love that. She surprised me already. I thought she was going to box and box some more. She's done both. And looking good, there is a lot on the line in this fight, but a lot of respect all around for each other. I do know Jamie Clampett, and I know she's a great fighter. She's a um, technically sound fighter, and she's fought some great fighters and beat them. And um, she doesn't appear to duck anyone. I've seen her lose to great fighters, so that tells me um, she's not afraid to lose. And... Um, you know, I like that, seeing that um, that she's willing to go in there and, and risk losing, if that's what it means, so. For this fight, like I said, Mia is very well known. She's fought, um, you know, world champions. She, she is a champion, and uh, I think this fight is just really big. This is a really big win for me. Um, plus, just getting in there with such an experienced fighter is huge for me. Mia has over 50 fights, and you know, win or loss, whatever, she's, she's been in there a lot. So getting that experience from her is just, you know, it means a lot to me. And I respect Mia. I have a lot of respect for her. I've been watching her over the years. And, you know, this is kind of um, like, you know, watching one of my idols or something. I, I, now I get to fight her. So I'm really fortunate for that. And I'm really excited about that. Yeah, what's exciting is that she's not uh, she's not admiring her too much. She's really going after Mia St. John in this round, isn't she, Vinny? I, I like what Jamie's doing. She's moving around, she's coming in, throwing big punches, taking some chances, and she's able to take the chances because Mia's not really fast. Mia's very durable, but not very fast. Good point. So Clampett seems to have uh, the superior edge in quite a few departments. She's definitely been the aggressor. She's got Mia backing up and 
Mia St. John not fighting effectively, backing up, trying to feint, feint, and really not, not able to get her right hand in, and the, even the jab's been ineffective. So Jamie Clampin with a powerful state opening statement here through two rounds. Very